pronouns. For more information, turn in your textbook and read charts 610, 611, 612, and 613. Here's a good chart that you might want to remember and refer back to when you're studying for the quiz. This is a chart of all the pronouns I'm going to discuss in this video and all the pronouns we have in English that you need to know for the quiz next week. We have subject pronouns, object pronouns, possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. I will discuss all of these pronouns in the video. First, let's begin with personal pronouns, which are subject and object pronouns. Obviously, subject pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, and they. They're called subject pronouns because they occur in the subject of the sentence. For instance, Jack is a great guy. He is my best friend. He refers to Jack. He is the subject of the sentence, so we use he and not him or his or any other form. We could also say, Sally and I went to dinner last night. We had a good time. I is the subject along with Sally. Sally and I, so we use I, not me. We refers to Sally and I, and it's the subject, so we use we. Object pronouns are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Notice that for you and it, the subject and the object pronoun are the same. For the other pronouns, the form is different. So for instance, Jack is a great guy. I like him. Him refers to Jack, but it's in the object position. It comes after the verb, so we use him and not he. We could also say, Jack went to dinner with Sally and me last night. In this case, Sally and me is the object of the preposition with. It's in an object position, so we use me and not I. Possessive nouns. This is one part of the presentation when I am not talking about pronouns. I'll continue to talk about pronouns in a minute. This is very easy. To make a singular noun possessive, you need to add an apostrophe s. For instance, Janet has two children. Janet's children are very tall. Because the children belong to Janet, when I want to make her name possessive, I just add an apostrophe s. On the other hand, when you have a plural noun, to make a plural noun possessive, you add an s apostrophe. It's just the opposite. The students have two tests tomorrow. The students' test will be very hard. Students is a plural noun. The test belong to the students. Because students is plural, I need to use an apostrophe after the S. Notice how it's opposite of the singular noun. Now, as you remember, we do have some irregular plural nouns in English, nouns that we make plural without adding an S. When we want to make an irregular plural noun possessive, we treat it like a singular noun and we add an apostrophe S. The women have several appointments today. The women's appointments are important. Women is plural, but it's also an irregular plural. It does not end in S. So when we want to make it possessive, we do the same thing we did for Janet. We add an apostrophe S. Next, possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. 
Possessive adjectives are words like my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. Please notice that the word her is also an object pronoun. It can be both an object pronoun and a possessive adjective. Possessive adjectives are called so because they are adjectives. They function as adjectives in the sentence. They come before nouns, always. For instance, I have a cell phone. It's my cell phone. He has an iPad. It's his iPad. My is an adjective that describes cell phone. His is an adjective that describes iPad. I could also say, the school has many students. Its students are happy. Its refers to the school, and it describes students. Its students. Now notice here, its and its. In my first example sentence, I have a cell phone, it's my cell phone, I have it apostrophe s. That means it is. It is not a possessive adjective. But its students are happy, there is no apostrophe, because this is a possessive adjective. It's important to know the difference between those two words. They are not the same, even though they are pronounced the same, and they are almost spelled the same. There are also possessive pronouns. Unlike possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns are nouns, so they act as nouns in the sentence, not as adjectives. But like possessive adjectives, they show possession. Possessive pronouns are words like mine, yours, his, hers, ours, and theirs. Two things to notice here. First of all, his is both a possessive pronoun and a possessive adjective. Also, there is no possessive pronoun form for its. So the pronoun it does not have a possessive pronoun form. It is not possible to write a sentence using it as a possessive pronoun. Let's look at the examples we have here. I have a cell phone. It's mine. He has an iPad. It's his. In both sentences, mine and his are possessive pronouns. They're used as nouns. They come at the end of the sentence. They do not come in front of another noun the way the possessive adjectives do. They stand on their own. They act as nouns, but they also show ownership. The cell phone belongs to me, so it's mine. The iPad belongs to him, so it's his. Finally, we have reflexive pronouns. Reflexive pronouns are words like myself, yourself, or yourselves, himself, herself, itself, ourselves, and themselves. Please notice that when the pronoun is plural, like yourselves, ourselves, or themselves, you need to change self to selves. For example, I talked to the crazy man. We could instead say, I talked to him. Him refers to the crazy man. Him is an object pronoun. On the other hand, the crazy man talked to himself. Himself is a reflexive pronoun. Himself refers to the crazy man. When the subject and the object refer to the same thing, then we need to use a reflexive pronoun. Now it's your turn. Read the following sentences and fill in the blanks with an appropriate noun or pronoun.
Let's look at the answers. The children looked at themselves in the mirror. Themselves refers to the children. So we use a reflexive pronoun because the subject and the object are the same. John has three cars. He likes the red car the best. We use he because it refers to John and it's the subject of the sentence. John has three cars. They are very fast. We use they because we're talking about the cars and they is the subject of the sentence. For this sentence we have two options. We could say John's three cars were all very expensive or his three cars were all very expensive. Both nouns here show possession. Finally, the three cars belong to John. The cars are John's or the cars are his. In this case, his is a possessive pronoun. John's is also a possessive noun. For more practice, turn in your book to page 165 and do exercise 40, then page 167, exercise 43, then page 168, exercise 46, and finally page 170, exercise 48.